the fundamental problem with with healthcare in the U.S. and and, and in many other countries as well, by the way, is that uh, the system is not really organized and structured uh, around delivering value for the patient. Michael Porter, um, professor at Harvard Business School. We have a system where, in America particularly, we don't have everybody covered by an insurance system. And the insurance system that we do have uh, is, again, not uh, uh, structured around value. Um, uh, insurance companies have been rewarded for actually excluding sick people. Um, and their modus operandi is to bargain down prices with providers uh, rather than actually improve the health of their subscribers. We, we don't even know if insurance companies do a good job of actually assisting their members or their subscribers in, in improving their health conditions. And uh, so the insurance market has been really not rewarding value, uh, but really rewarding cost shifting, pushing costs from one entity to another, passing more cost on to the consumers. So, uh, so the insurance system is, is really a, a key part of the problem. But what we, I think, understand now is the real fundamental problem is the, that we're not delivering health care in a way that creates value or the maximum value for the customer. And that's fundamentally because the organization of health care is misaligned with really the needs of the patient. Uh, healthcare is organized around specialties and interventions. Uh, uh, you go to the radiologist, you go to the uh, internal medicine person, you go to rehab. These are all separate departments, separate people, separate uh, interventions with separate administrative structures. Uh, but, but that's not what creates value. What creates value is really to integrate all the expertise and specialties and interventions necessary to address the patient's medical condition, whether it's diabetes or heart problem or uh, uh, an arthritic hip, um, over the full cycle of care of that patient. Um, and, and, and fundamentally then the organization of the delivery of care is really not organized around the patient and the value for the patient, but it's really organized around the traditional uh, divisions and specialties in the field. And, and what makes it worse is that we don't actually measure the value delivered. We don't even measure health outcomes at all, uh, except in very rare cases. So it's very hard to drive value in a system where, where value really isn't measured and where pricing actually reinforces uh, the fragmentation and lack of coordination in the system. Today we pay for services basically. We pay we pay the doctor separate from the hospital, we pay the radiologist separately from the surgeon, we pay the surgeon separately from the anesthesiologist, we pay the office visit separately from the rehab, and essentially the payment system then just simply encourages people to do more services rather than to optimize the overall value that, they, that is delivered uh, in terms of the patient outcomes per dollar spent. So we've got a real mess on our hands because the, the structure of the system is really, really fundamentally disconnected to, to value. Electronic medical records are a very important uh, technology that has to be deeply embedded in healthcare delivery because it enables what we fundamentally know we have to do to deliver value. Uh, electronic medical, medical records enable integrated care where all the experts and specialties and, 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 and folks working with a given patient can actually be on the same page in terms of sharing information and having the full information about the patient's whole medical condition. Um, rather than have each office, each specialty have their own records and, and really not know what anybody else did. Um, we also know that electronic medical records are a platform for measuring results, that is measuring the outcomes uh, carefully over the whole cycle of care and, and also being able to carefully measure the total cost. See, we, we don't really care about the cost of any one intervention. What we care about is the cost of the whole cycle of care. And we need to be optimizing the total cost, not trying to minimize the cost of individual interventions. In fact, what we know in healthcare is that we actually may want to spend more on some things, like, say, screening, uh, in order to save money later on in the care cycle by uh, minimizing uh, uh, complications or emergency room visits or whatever. But we don't, without electronic medical records that really cut across all the specialties and services, we can't really even start to think about those issues. Medical science is, is a very rapidly changing and improving 
uh, set of technologies. And, and so when we, when we create a healthcare delivery system, we need to have a system that's actually engineered for continuous innovation uh, to rapidly embrace the, the, the newest uh, 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 protocols, the newest drugs, the newest devices, the newest services that can actually enable the patient to do better, uh, to get well more quickly, to do it, do it more efficiently. Um, so, ironically, healthcare delivery should be really structured around innovation. The, the problem we have today is, is that because of this kind of siloed model and because everybody looks at their little piece of the, of the, of the patient care uh, cycle separately, uh, we actually uh, don't deploy innovation very well and often innovation is perceived as the enemy because we, we come up with a new imaging technique or we come up with a new medical device and then, and then the incentives are for the people involved in that to just do as much as they can and crank up as much revenue as they can rather than think about how can that uh, image or that device actually change the entire care cycle, how can we optimize the overall uh, process of care. So, um, you know, um, uh, we, we believe that, um, you know, the, a lot of the, the concerns uh, uh, about the use of technology and the, and, and the cost of technology in healthcare are not inherent in the technology itself, but they're really reflected in, in the nature of the way technology is actually deployed in the delivery system and how we pay. Measurement in healthcare is, is, is happily uh, something that is now gathering some steam. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, the approach to measurement in healthcare has been to measure processes of care, not outcomes. Uh, processes of care are things like did the, did the doctor prescribe the given drug at the right time? Uh, was there uh, a, a, an appropriate test given? Um, you know, uh, so, so basically the process approach to measurement says let's kind of second guess how doctors practice medicine or how teams practice medicine and let's take guidelines that we've learned from clinical studies and let's make sure that the doctor is doing the right thing. The problem with process measurement is that it never fundamentally captures even a small part of the complexity of actual caring for a patient. Uh, even for a relatively simple disease. There, there are, there's a lot of judgmental factors that are necessary. Guidelines don't cover everything. The trouble with guidelines is they also freeze the status quo. They're really anti-innovation. The guidelines are always several years behind the best practices. And so if you force doctors to follow the guidelines rather than figure out how to do it even better, you, you kind of slow down innovation. So what we need to move from is the process approach, which is the approach that we're using now, to really the outcome measurement approach. Processes still need to be measured, but that, needs, that can be left to the providers. That can be left to the organizations themselves, like we leave that to businesses. You know, we don't compare process measures across companies in, in, in public rankings. You know, we, we compare outcome measures of, of companies. And now, now, outcome measurement is the health outcomes, how well the patient did. Uh, for, did they survive? Uh, how close to recovery did they get? Uh, how, how fast did that recovery occur? Uh, how much complexity and complications were there in the treatment process? Were there relapses? How often, how soon, how serious? Those are the kind of things we need to be measuring, but by and large, this process is just beginning to take hold in America, and, uh, 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 and, and this is, uh, in my view, the single biggest leverage point to drive health, improvement in the healthcare system is to measure outcomes and to measure it for every provider, for every medical condition. Uh, we, we know we can do this. We've proven it works. We've proven that when we measure outcomes, we can get dramatic improvements in value, uh, but we simply have lacked the will um, and the conviction that this is really on the top of the list for really driving improvement in healthcare. care.